I'm Chris from Cinti Studios and today we'll be taking a look at how to get one of our Cinti Polygon characters working with our base locomotion pack. So to get started we need to import the new input system. These steps are generally the same across all versions of Unity that the base locomotion pack supports. Go to Window, Package Manager, and we'll change the filter to Unity Registry. And in the search we'll type in Input, and we'll install the input system. Once this finishes installing, we'll be prompted to restart Unity, so we can click yes. Now that Unity's restarted, we'll bring in the base locomotion pack. And press import. And we'll bring in some polygon characters. For the tutorial, I'll be using the ancient Egypt pack. So we'll import that in. And again, we'll click import. With everything imported, we'll just prep the scene ready to start. So we'll delete the main camera, and then under game object, 3D object, We'll bring in a plane, and we'll just make this a little bit bigger. Now this is where the steps will differ a little depending on the version of Unity you're using. So first off, we'll cover Unity 2022 and newer. We'll need to bring in the base locomotion character prefab into our scene. So under Cinti, Animation, Base Locomotion, Samples, Prefabs. We'll bring in the PF underscore player. Then with our prefab selected, we'll click Open. Then we'll go down to the Polygon Cinti character. Then we'll click the padlock to make it a little easier. Then we'll locate the character that we want to use. So mine is in Cinti, Polygon Ancient Egypt, Prefabs, Characters. And where you see the prefab option here, we'll drag one of our characters in. And we'll click Replace and Keep Overrides. We'll go back to our scene, press play. And now our character is ready to use. Now we'll cover that same process in Unity 2021. We have the same scene, so we'll bring in the character prefab under Cinti, Animation Base Locomotion, Samples, Prefabs. We'll drag in the PF underscore player. And right click, Prefab, Unpack completely. Then we'll open this up. Then we'll find the character we want to use. So in our case, it's Cinti, Polygon Ancient Egypt, Prefabs, Characters. We'll bring in one of the characters under PF player. And again, we'll unpack the prefab and we'll expand both of these. Under the Polygon Cinti character, we'll delete the mesh and the root. Then for our new character, we'll bring in the mesh and the root underneath our Polygon Cinti character. And this one here we can now delete. Then we need to set the avatar for our character. So under Polygon Cinti character, you can see you'll get a bunch of errors here. So we'll need to change the avatar to match the character. We'll look for the matching avatar, so we can see this is from the Polygon Ancient Egypt pack. So we'll select that. And the last thing to check is that our camera controller still has a reference to our Cinti character. If it doesn't, you can just set that to the Polygon Cinti character here. And we'll hit play. Our character is ready to go. And one last thing to note that applies to all Unity versions. To avoid issues with the jump height of the character, we'll move the mesh and the root of your character to a different layer. The actual layer name you use may differ depending on your own individual needs. But for my project, I'll select the root and the mesh of the character. Under layers, we'll add a layer. I'll call mine characters. And we'll select the root and the mesh. And we'll assign the layer. And on this prompt, we'll say yes. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there's anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos, or check out our community Discord, the link is in the description.